we're living through a period of prolonged transition. The normal state of being is transition. We don't, we barely have time to get used to something new and exciting or different. And then as soon as we get used to it, it's already shifting, evolving and changing. You know, people who finally arrived on Twitter were horrified to discover that all, all the golden rules of how to market on Twitter had already changed. And, and, and so how, how on earth do we keep up? But from my own point of view, when I, when I started talking about this, I think I was a romantic optimist. I, when I saw how the world was changing, and I really thought, I thought we'd arrived at a golden age where an age of transparency, an age where you know, information was, was free flowing, it was out there, it was forcing corporate, established corporate culture to shift and change, which was a great thing. Um, it was forcing governments and people in government to be a lot more transparent and open. I think this is awesome. The world is, what a time we're, we're, we're entering into. And I honestly believe that companies like Facebook and Google, we're going we're gonna to save the world. We're going to do the job that government found itself incapable of doing, whether it was connecting people to the internet or finding technological ways to address poverty and access to services. Then, almost two years ago, two things happened. <clears throat> First, there was Brexit, uh, the vote for Britain to leave to leave the EU was a shock to me. I just didn't see that coming at all. It's terrible uh, when you call Brett, by the way. No one wants to talk to you anymore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I went, well, how can that happen? That was, that was a terrible thing. And then just a little while later, then Donald Trump was elected. So my rosy view of the world was suddenly shaken. And I went, well, maybe we're not. And then and I thought, all this effort, and then we see issues with Google, with Facebook, and there's mm -hmm. issues around privacy, and, oh, we've got to delete Facebook, and all these things. Mm -hmm. So... So having come through that, I think now I'm, I'm still massively an optimist, but shaped, but with a bit of realism now about what this actually means, and maybe there's a little bit more work. So I'd like to open up with that. Where, where do the, I mean, we, we're speakers, so by nature, I think we, we want to be optimistic about it, and we want to encourage people to be optimistic about it, but should we be? Oh, I love the dark side, by the way. <laughs> I must admit, I'm like... Poor old Facebook. I get the pressures they're under, and I can just picture what their PR team must be going through at the moment. And you've got a whole lot of Facebook guys posting, and the PR team just freeze everything, don't share anything. And meanwhile, their whole business model has been designed to extract a ton of data uh, out of every single one of us. And even when they talk to their advertisers, they're linking that data up deliberately. They say they're not, but they actively go and sell it. So. For me, it's quite sexy. I mean, it's quite interesting because we all knew as an industry that we were going down that path and all of a sudden we've been caught out and, and Facebook's getting a lashing. And, you know, everybody who rides off the back of these social successes are going to be exposed to these darker sides. So I quite like it. I think it's, it's good. You know, you, as society, we need to hold the big corporations in line, in check, and it's our data, right? This is worth more than oil to these organizations, and we give it away for free. So I love the fact that Google, Facebook, and I'm an ex-Googler, we're all under pressure, right, to start being honest with everyone's data. And if you look at data right now, it's everything. We talk about big data. We talk about machine learning. Everything hinges off data. So we best get responsible with it. So guys like Elon Musk pushing the whole... Well, actually, governance around machine learning and artificial intelligence, it is a good thing. How we establish that governance, how we roll it out, I think is going to be very difficult. Yeah. So I, I, I take the view more from the individual perspective that, uh, of course, everybody who's ever ticked <coughs> a I agree with the terms and conditions has actually read them. So they <laughs> knew of course, exactly right. <laughs> what they were getting into right from the start. Um, and No, but that, that is actually something. It's all very well for us to sit here and then shout at Facebook, shout at Google. And but they don't the give you another choice, right? I mean, it's you accept or bugger off. Yeah, sure. But Has anyone not accepted? Yeah. I'd love to know what the terms are after that, right? No, so but they kind no, of force you. Yeah. But, but that's the whole point. Mm. If you want to use these services mm. and nobody's forcing you to, and by the way, nobody's charging you for mm. them anyway, mm. so... It really is up to us to understand what it is that's happening. Mm. And that, so for me, Ryan, with your, your intro there, I remain an optimist because I think that what's happened is that a lot of people have, have basically said, 
I don't have to understand this world that I'm living mm. in. I don't have to understand the technology as long as it works. And of course, the, the user experience guys at all these companies mm. have said, that's exactly how we want it. Don't have to give you manuals anymore. Everything's just a click and drag and everything works fine. But actually, that's not the way that human beings should engage with the world around mm. them. We should have some understanding of what's happening, what's going on behind the scenes, what's valuable, what's not valuable, what's right, what's wrong. And, and I'm very excited about the fact that where we are right now is demanding of us as individuals that we step up, that we learn this stuff, we understand this stuff. Mm. So the good side of getting my data, knowing me and then targeting me is that I will stop seeing adverts that are of no interest to me.